Hey guys, in this video we'll be compiling the Linux kernel from scratch and I'm going to first build a virtual machine for my Ubuntu and then do the recompilation inside this virtual machine. I would highly recommend using a virtual machine instead of uh, just doing it directly on your machine because it's always safer. So let's go ahead and create a virtual machine and I'm going to select custom here instead of the typical one. Uh, if you have typical selected just switch to custom and hit next here i'm going to leave all of this as it is i'm going to leave this to workstation 15.x i'm using vmware vmware workstation so let's just go and hit next here i need to set select the iso image and i'll put the download link in the description this is just the iso file that i downloaded which is ubuntu 18.4 and you could use Ubuntu 20 as well, shouldn't be a problem. But if you want to follow this tutorial exactly, just go with 18.4. And let's just hit next here. Now I need to enter my name, a username, and I need a password as well. So enter all of these and hit next. Now I need to give my virtual machine a name. So let's just leave this to Ubuntu. And I need to give this a location where uh, it should uh, store the virtual machine. So I'm going to put this in D. And now let's hit next. Here you need to select the number of processors. I'll just leave the number of processors to two and number of cores per processor to two as well. So I have a total of four processor cores. Uh, depending on your machine, uh, depending on how many processors you have and how many cores you have per processor. Uh, you'll need to select this accordingly. Uh, for, uh, if you have a total processor cores of 4, that should be uh, good enough. But less than this is also fine. So let's just hit next here. Here I need to set uh, the memory, the RAM that I need to give my virtual machine. So let's just make this 4 right here. And once again, depending on how much RAM you have in your machine, you could uh, tweak this accordingly. I'm going to leave this to 4. So let's go ahead and hit next. This is for my network. So I'm going to leave it to NAT itself. And let's hit next again. Once again, I'm going to leave the uh, controller type to LSI logic and hit next. Now, this is where I need a change. It says select a disk type and I don't want SCSI. You could leave this to SCSI, but I encountered quite a few problems when uh, recompiling the kernel when my disk was an SCSI type. So I'm going to select uh, Stata here and let's just hit next. And let's just leave this to create a new virtual disk and hit next again. Uh, here I need to select the maximum disk size. So I'm going to give my uh, virtual machine a maximum disk size of 40 GB. Uh, once again, depending on how much uh, space you have in your hard drive, how much you want to allocate to the machine, you could tweak this as well. And I'm going to leave this allocate all disk space now unchecked because I don't want 40 GB uh, used up even if my virtual machine doesn't need 40 GB. So let's just leave this unchecked. And I leave this to split virtual disk into multiple files and hit next. Uh, this is the file that it's going to create, I'm just going to leave it to ubuntu.vmdk and hit next again. Remember, I don't want to power on this virtual machine after creation. Uh, there's still some changes that we want, so make sure you have this checkbox unchecked and hit finish right here. Once you hit finish, you should have a virtual machine created. Here I have my Ubuntu virtual machine created and go into edit virtual machine settings and in this you should find the options tab uh, in the options tab go to advanced and in firmware type switch from bios to uefi and that's all the change that i needed hit ok and let's just check once again uh, my settings i have my hard disk which is uh, 40 gb and then i have uh, it's a cd dvd 2 this is my actual uh, ISO image that I'm uh, using to uh, boot from the first time before I when I don't have Ubuntu installed. So let's hit 
make sure you have connected power on uh, checked initially we are going to be unchecking this later so let's just hit ok and power on this virtual machine after you power on this should give you uh, a standard Ubuntu installation so just go on to uh, install Ubuntu let's just switch to a full screen mode here so when I say install Ubuntu it's going to take me through the entire installation process for Ubuntu uh, should be pretty straightforward so um, I'm just going to go through this very quickly and I'll probably speed up this part right here uh, hopefully you shouldn't encounter any, any problem here let's go with English and English US is fine normal installation and I'll just check the third-party software as well so let's hit continue Uh, erase disk and install Ubuntu should be fine shouldn't be a problem since we are doing this all on a virtual machine uh, If you want a dual boot or something you might want to select something else But I'm going to leave this as it is and hit install now And here as well continue I'm in India right now, so select that and continue um, this ask me for my name and it's going to give my computer as well a name so let's just name this Ubuntu VM uh, my username Shreyas is fine I need to set a password and let's go ahead now this is going to install uh, Ubuntu this might take uh, some time so let's just skip to after all of this is done Alright, so the installation here is done. Uh, it says I need to restart now, so let's just do that. It says please remove the installation medium and then reboot. So that's what I'm going to do now. I am going to shut down this thing and as I mentioned before, we need to go into edit and and for the actual ISO that I was uh, booting from, I need to uh, uncheck connected power on. You could also just remove this entire thing, but uh, if you just unselect this box, it should be fine. Hit OK and now power on this virtual machine. And now let's actually get into recompiling the Linux kernel so I first need the code for my Linux kernel so I will have to download the source code so head over to kernel.org so here I can find the 5.8.10 that's the one that I'm going to download so when I hit tarball it gives me the option to save this file that's what I'm going to do and this downloads the file for me let's open a terminal and my download is complete so next what I need to do is I need to move this uh, from my downloads folder so right now it's in download slash uh, Linux uh, 5.8.10 and I need to move this to uh, slash USR slash SRC um, and I'm going to move it right here so I'll have to give the uh, super user for this I'll have to make uh, it a super user command because I'm moving into slash uh, USR so I enter my password and actually what might be simpler here is to just uh, log in as a super user so to do that just hit uh, sudo su and 
um, you might have to enter your password here uh, I didn't because I just entered it now navigate to uh, CD slash USR slash SRC so I navigate there and here I can find my uh, tar.exe file which I just downloaded so let's extract this file so I do tar slash x dash xvf linux 5.8.10 and this extracts the entire file here so now that my extraction is done I can uh, navigate into uh, the linux 5.8.10 directory that it created here and if I look into this it uh, shows me a lot of files this is the entire kernel source code and I have a make file here as well so there's a lot of uh, uh, make file rules that I can uh, run here so let's just try make uh, menu config that's one of the rules now it says command make not found so uh, I'll have to get that as well so let's just first do uh, apt get build uh, apt get install build essential and hit enter so this is probably because I need to update first so let's just hit update and now hit apt get install build essential uh, hit enter for uh, continue and now that that's done I can do a make menu config this still doesn't work because uh, there are still some packages that I need to install so uh, let's just install those first so I need uh, flex I need uh, sorry apt get install uh, flex I need bison I need uh, lib ssl dev I need uh, lib elf dev um, let's just do remind re remind me later and I also need a uh, lib n curses dev so these are some packages that I need um, just hit enter to continue and this will install all of those packages for me now once that's done I can uh, do a make menu config and this opens up a configuration menu for me so uh, there's a lot of things that I can do here I can um, go into my device drivers and here I can find uh, my uh, STSI device support as well and serial ATA support all of these so uh, if we did do the S if we selected the hard drive as STSI we would probably have to make some changes here which is why I just uh, went with uh, serial ATA so let's just exit from here and I'm going to say no to uh, saving the new configuration because I didn't change anything yet uh, here another command that I need to run before I actually uh, give the make command for my uh, kernel compilation is uh, make def config what this does is it makes a default configuration file and uh, writes it to the dot config file so that done now what I can do is uh, I'm just going to give the make command let's uh, first just check my number of processors uh, processor cores actually so I have four so when I give this next make command I'm going to give a uh, hyphen j4 what this does is it allocates uh, my, all my four cores which are available for this uh, virtual machine to this uh, command itself uh, that's because the command that I'm going to run is going to take a lot of time so uh, when I hit the make command it's going to uh, actually compile all the Linux source code so I just say make uh, and a hyphen j4 and I hit enter this is going to take a lot of time so I let this be and I'll see you after uh, all of this is done my compilation is done now and although the compilation is done there are still a few more steps that I need to do so for example the grub uh, that actually uh, starts when I boot my machine won't contain uh, this new kernel etc steps like those and we could do those manually we could add the grub entry uh, manually all of that but uh, 
The make file contains rules for all of these, so we'll just use those. So uh, let's go ahead and first uh, use the rule uh, make modules underscore install and hit enter. This one won't uh, take so much time. And next what I need to do is I need to do make modules underscore install uh, and another install here. So hit enter. And at this point, uh, this one as well won't take too much time. Uh, at this point, just make sure that where it says update init ramfs, uh, you're not getting uh, any message which says no such file or directory. Uh, if you are, then that's a problem. You probably uh, went wrong somewhere. So uh, I was getting that error earlier, but um, I think after I switched to UEFI and um, all of that, the error disappeared. So uh, now once I do make install install uh, I'm done with my uh, with all of the steps that I need to recompile the kernel so all I need to do is now uh, reboot my machine so one thing I want to point out here is that uh, when I run these make file rules uh, by default the the Ubuntu option that that appears in the grub uh, has been uh, modified to point to this new kernel now so uh, let's just first do a uname hyphen r which gives me the kernel version so i'm right now on 5.4.0 hyphen 42 uh, and now i can give uh, init 6 to reboot my machine so let's do that uh, now my machine is reboot rebooting and it's going to now boot to uh, my new kernel which is uh, 5.8.10 So it's going to give me a lot of uh, messages here, some of which say failed, but I'm just going to ignore that for now. And now as you can see, it actually booted into uh, my Ubuntu itself. So here uh, when I log in, let's now check whether uh, we are on the correct kernel version, uh, whether this is actually the kernel that we uh, compiled just now. So I can do a uname hyphen R here. And when I hit enter, as you can see, uh, this is 5.8.10. So we have successfully uh, recompiled the Linux kernel from the source code. And I hope this video helped. Uh, if you have any errors, any questions, uh, feel free to put them in the comment section. And if you like this video, do give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and share it with your friends who might want to do this. So I'll see you some other time.